Hello Never Sayers Clan and YouTubers. I am here to show you a great way to make money. It's kind of a weird way and it requires a lot of money to start out if you want to make some great money. Now you gotta go to GE. As you can see I'm out right now. Okay. Now for every one soft clay you buy, you gotta buy one rune and stupid thing just buy one law rune one fire rune so I'll buy it at highest price so I get a fast one Okay, now they got all these. I can deposit my cash. Place these two over here. Um, you're also gonna want to have some extra Lauren so you can teleport to your place at least. Lauren and I need three okay. air staff. Okay, well, no, it's not finding it, but okay. Now just teleport to your house, making sure I don't waste anything. You're also going to want to bring money to pay your butler, which I forgot. If you do not have a butler, then it will cost you more law runes, but it's more profitable, but takes longer. So, yeah, you have those. Stupid butler. Come over here. Talk to butler. Uh, go to bank. Take Whatever. Yes. And I will want 26, which is the max that he can hold. I'm going to want to run here before he catches me. As you can see, there's a lectern here, which is... Thank you. This can take a while though. Just click on your thing, lectern, whatever. All lecterns can make Varric runes, tablets, whatever. Just as a side note, you make about 25k profit every 100. So that's why it requires a bunch of money. Like 400k can make you a bunch. This takes a while, so... Um, you have to be very patient when doing this. If you have a Varrock portal, then you will not need another rune, Law rune and Fire rune, to go to Varrock. And sell. No one makes money, so who you, so you don't get bored out of your mind. Also, the reason for me not speeding this up will be that this will show you how long it takes to make 26, so you know. It costs 10k per like every four trips the but demon butler makes to keep him going. So K 
Okay, now let's run over here. Okay. Now once my guy gets there, I will show you. Also, I am wearing a game snack ghost, which you don't need. Staff of air. Spotted cape or spot to your cave can be good. Boots of night lightness and also penance gloves can be um, another item that reduces weight so that you get your run back faster. But this is not required. Okay, exchange. So, first you want to check to see if it will sell at least at this price. If it does, that's great. If it doesn't, then oh well. You can see it didn't sell instantly, so I'm just going to remove it. If you're patient, you can do it this way, but um, I wouldn't recommend it. As you can see right now, they are not selling, but they do usually sell, considering they used to teleport to Varrock, only waste one space compared to wasting two to three. Might get some buyers. You can save this also. I've already sold one, 750 each. Um, if you buy everything at highest price, your profit will be like 240 something per one sold. So if you sell 100, you make like 24k. Okay, that's method one. Method two is where Basically, you don't have a demon butler and all that other stuff. Um, I will not make the rest of these because it would be a waste of your time. Now, let's check this out again. As you can see, I've only sold two. But it is pretty late right now, so I can tell why. If you say what you're selling at lowest price, people usually buy. The only reason people don't usually buy right now is because A, it's late, and B, people don't want to spend 830 on a tablet, so they'll spend 750. Oops. 6k for 8, which isn't that bad. Okay, well, that's all I have for you, so I'll stop talking now. That is the end of my video, and...